From CPC Sawgrass in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, it's a student production from UNF School of Communication. Welcome to Inside Swoop at 90 on location. <laughs> And good morning, Ospreys. If you're coming out here to enjoy the Players' Championship, make sure you bring some sunscreen. As you can see around me, we are on a beautiful and peaceful golf course. Now let's get into the sunrise edition of Inside Swoop and 90. A car passing by in Iowa High School released gunfire yesterday, killing one 15-year-old teen and seriously wounding two others. Police say the assumed suspects were arrested on the scene at East High School. No charges have been filed yet. The school district has closed the school for Tuesday. Next, President Joe Biden says he will sign an executive order to regulate the trade of cryptocurrency. According to the Associated Press, the Biden administration believes Russia is surviving through the sanctions thrown their way because of cryptocurrency. Although the order has been in the process of getting signed before the war, it is important more than ever to get that signed now. Finally, the Ukrainian president called out the energy company Shell for associating itself with Russia. The CEO of the company apologized in a statement for buying a cargo of Russian oil last week. Today, Shell has announced they are cutting ties with Russia and are not buying their, their oil and natural gas. They also have shut down their stations, aviation fuels, and other businesses in Russia as well. Thanks for your time, Ospreys. That's it for this Sunrise edition of Inside Swoop and 90. I'm Deja Borden. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.